البونز اوف ذا ليج ريجن البونز اوف ذا ليج عباره عن تو بونز تيبيا which is the biggest bone and the fibula which is the narrowest bone the tibia first one is the tibia. long bone with two ends and a shaft in between the upper end of the tibia has a flattened surface called tibial plateau what form the tibial plateau is two condyles, the medial tibial condyle and the lateral tibial condyle. Between the two condyles, there is intercondylar eminence. This elevation here called intercondylar eminence. This eminence has two tubercles, the medial intercondylar tubercle and the lateral intercondylar tubercle. Okay. Anteriorly, the upper head of the tibia has a tuberosity here. This is called the tibial tuberosity. Tibial tuberosity. Okay. The upper end has, as well, there is a facet or a notch here called fibular notch or fibular facet. This is for the formation of the proximal or superior tibio fibular joint. The proximal or superior tibio fibular joint okay there is a line posteriorly that extends from lateral to medial there is called this is called the solial line this is the solial line it is called the solial line because it's for the attachment of the soleus muscle above the solial line the surface here called the popliteal surface popliteal surface okay then we shift to the shaft, shaft of the tibia. The shaft of the tibia is triangular. Triangular, has three surfaces and the three borders. The most important of which is the, mid, is the lateral one, which is a sharp border called the anterosseous border. The anterosseous border, okay? This is for the attachment of the, anteros for the, attachment of the anterosseous membrane, okay? Then the lower end of the tibia. The lower end of the tibia here has medially a process. This is this process called the medial malleolus. The medial malleolus. And uh, laterally, there is a notch here called the fibular notch or fibular facet. This fibular facet uh, for, for formation of the distal or inferior tibio fibular joint okay نرجع على الميديال مالولاس there is a groove posterior to the medial malleolus this is the medial malleolus and this is a groove here this groove is for the passage of the tendon of the tibialis posterior muscle and the flexor digitorum longus okay the most inferior surface here called the talar surface. ليش سميناها هيك شيء؟ لأنه هذا for the articulation with the talus bone to form the ankle joint. Okay? This is regarding the tibia, which is the most important. The fibula, it is a long bone as well. لكن مثل ما قلنا هي secondary bone. ليش قلنا عليها secondary bone? Because it does not share in the weight bearing. هاي أول شغلة، ثاني شغلة it does not share in the joint formation ما لها علاقة بتكوين الجوينت يعني مثلا بالني جوينت هي ما لها علاقة. أوكي؟ شنو أهميتها؟ it is important for the muscle attachment. muscle attachment and attachment of the anterosseous membrane. it has two heads and a shaft in between. the upper head or the upper end here has a facet medially called tibial facet or tibial notch this is for the you know, for the proximal or superior tibio fibular joint then there is a sh long shaft here has four borders and four surfaces the most important of which is this this sharp medial anterosseous border it is called anterosseous border because it is attached to which the anterosseous membrane 
the lower end of the fibula here has a process located laterally. It corresponds to the medial malleolus called the lateral malleolus. إذن الميديال مالولاس يكون ليا التيبيا واللاترال مالولاس تكون ليا تكون ليا الفيبيولا اوكي حتى اعرف التيبيا وين الانتيريور وين البوستيرور مالتها اباو اكو عندي هنا نوتش هذه هنا نوتش هذه النوتش موقعها صاير بوستيرور فيبيولار نوتش اوكي هذه مهمه حتى اعرف بيها وين الانتيريور من البوستيرور هذه النوتش صايره بوستيرور لي اوكي وقلنا احنا عندنا هنا ايضا فاسيت هذه هذه الفاسيت يسموها تيبيا الفاسيت فور ذا ديستال اور انفيريور تيبيو فيبيولار جوينت تيبيو فيبيولار جوينت اوكي كلينيكلي ذا امبورتنس اوف ذا تيبيا ممكن نسوي لها بون جرافتنج نستفاد من عندها بالبون جرافتنج شكرا